Anti-Semitism is an assault on our values as Americans and especially as progressives. Anti-Semitism is also a threat to a community that is a vital partner in our struggles against injustice. So when the Jewish community is threatened, the progressive movement is undermined. That's why it is so important that we reject it as fiercely as we reject and look for misogyny, Islamophobia, or any form of bigotry or discrimination in any space that we occupy. Right now, anti-Semitism is on the rise in America and across the world. Acknowledging that fact does not take away from fights for liberation. It actually advances them. And the growth of anti-Semitic attacks and rhetoric before and since October 7th is unacceptable to all of us who believe in a better world, period. What's harder for us as progressives to recognize or understand is when anti-Semitism shows up and is normalized in our own spaces. And I wanna be frank here. There is very real anti-Semitism that is in fact showing up in progressive spaces right now. And it's deeply painful and hurtful to Jews. I want to just mention a couple of pain points in this moment, because if we can understand the harm some words do to other people, we can be attentive to preventing it. And that's a great beginning that will matter to a lot of people. So I talked about the conspiracy frame. And so whenever we hear about nefarious control behind world events, or now we're talking about the conflict, evil control of government policy by Jewish billionaires or Zionist donors, those are just like the George Soros accusations that Amy described, you know, this evil puppet master, you know, trying to save democracy and support causes he cares about. So if your criticism of Israel is trafficking and stereotypes, you're really in the bigotry zone. I mean, stereotypes kill. That's how the Nazis got the German people to live with this so-called final solution. So we do the work all the time to avoid words that correlate with negative stereotypes. And we need to do that here. Um, I want to conclude by summarizing and again and saying that anti-Semitism is a threat to Jews and to the progressive movement, and as Amy has stated, to democratic freedom. And just like racism, anti-Black racism, Islamophobia, and misogyny, it makes all of us unsafe, and we all have a stake in fighting it. And it's not on Jews to address anti-Semitism on their own. When it comes to the current conflict, it is possible to recognize Jewish pain fear and grief in that moment. And that does not take away from our grief and pain for families in Gaza. It is also important to educate ourselves about the lines past which criticism of the Israeli government can slip into a spectrum of anti-Semitism. And doing so and educating ourselves protects our Jewish neighbors, it protects the broader movement, for the, for the lasting peace from being discredited as well.